up guys? Welcome everybody. Um, listen, if you're watching this and, and you think it's important information, like it, share it, tag some folks. This goes beyond the running community, as is now obvious because there's forces in the world that clearly didn't want this video getting out, Shane. This is we, take we three tried, for us. Yeah, we tried yeah. twice. Uh, and, and it just wasn't working on the feed, but we're going to get this shared with y'all. Um, and we want to start by saying that, listen, Track Shack would never condone the storming of a government building. We don't Absurd. believe in doing that, but so many never. of you have pledged to storm Area 51 that your safety, as always, is our primary concern. Sure. You know, there's the safety of, of just dodging these guards. We're trying to outrun bullets, and, and Shane is a resident expert here because what we're talking it's about true. today is Naruto running and the proper form for it, something Shane has been, you know, um, enjoying watching the series forever and even practicing. He, he has done some Part of the mayor, Naruto running a couple times a yeah. week. On his own. For about the past five years. You know. you know, because if you don't heed our warnings and you do go storm this building, the rates of speed that are going to be necessary yeah. to get past those guards, to dodge those bullets, to get in there, is just as dangerous, actually, as being caught. It's we true. were talking about maybe breaking the sound barrier. Yeah, shot. definitely those mock speeds are, are absolutely a possibility. Breaking the sound barrier, highly possible if we get the form down, you know. Absolutely. And with that form, I mean, it looks like the legs are turning over. You know, I was watching some clips last night. Sure. had an insane... Right. So what are some things we can do to loosen up? We don't sure. want to pull some muscles or anything, sure. right? I, I think I think there, there's two ways to attack this. First, um, I really don't like the whole static stretch. Okay. You know, but especially before you're warmed up and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Cold muscles. So it's, it's just that. it's just not gonna not okay. gonna help you. All right. So what you know, doing? you want to get some some active, you know, warm up going on. So Absolutely. so you know, get those rotation oh, in the hips. Yeah. Okay. You know, walk around with it. Don't there worry about looking like a fool. No, you know, you know, particularly, I uh, don't worry about looking like a fool if you're doing this in public, which Shane, we were talking before, we think is probably the best area to practice. Yeah. This, right? Yeah. So, I mean, if you're, if you're really shy, I get it. I get it. Sure. You know, you can lay out some mattresses, maybe some pillows on the wall, things like that, but you really want to be in an open field, maybe a public park. Super important. Take a tumble. You want that soft surface. Exactly. The grass is if you go down. Exactly. If, if you don't have anybody around to help you out, then you're going to be laying on the ground in pain. No one's going to be there. Yeah, just, terrible. just do. We can't have that. Yeah. But again, look, I, you'll hear us reiterate this a number of times. We are, of course, not condoning the storming Never. of Area 51. But if you're doing that, if you're if you're trying to see them aliens, and, and you do get past those guards, um, how are you going to take this alien back? Can this form help us? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Sure. Back with um, us? So, so you definitely, you know, with, with the lean that is involved naturally in this form, you're going to have that that low shelf on the back. You're definitely going to be able to get an alien on there. Um, it depends on the sizing, though. A lot of people are just assuming that it's the same old aliens we've seen right. since, you know, those early sci-fi films, stuff like that, gray, big heads. We really don't know. You don't know. Yeah, they could fit in your hands. They could be too big that you can't carry them. Sure, you never maybe really they could run alongside you. And I think it's one, one thing that's important to note is this, this form is not only necessary for getting into Area 51, but say you get in. Yeah. And the aliens, not so nice. They're in uh -huh. the cages for a reason. You yeah. know, they're, they're getting, yeah. um, they're, they're just been, hidden from us because they're harmful right you're, you're gonna be able to get out quick possibly. too absolutely you know and you never know what kind of you know abilities these aliens have so they may be fast too so the oh, faster yeah. you are definitely really important that yeah. you're faster for sure um you don't have to be faster than the people that you're with i mean then the thing that's chasing you just faster than the people always, that you're with always um and so, move that fast right sorry that, i was, I was gonna, gonna say off. um so in order to move that fast a couple factors go into that okay. yeah one of them being your attire absolutely um now, with Naruto, you should know that it's a pretty bright and obnoxious guy. You know, he, he's bright orange, jumpsuit, really loud. Not the best ninja as far as, you know, technicality goes. Yeah. Um, but that's, that actually serves a purpose. You know, you can be that distraction to the guards with those bright clothes if you're fast enough. Let your friends get in. And so then you can get in after the guards are occupied with them. Everybody gets their aliens. They're getting out. We're good. Sure. Um, now you can also go the other route, the all black. Now I recommend only doing that at night. So you're in the desert. Remember this, a lot of brown, a lot of tan, dust, stuff like that. You're not going to blend in with black. Um, so just keep your environment, your timing, your plan of attack. Got this mock desert on this exactly. running adventure here. Chris and turns around, flash, he's, he's, he's gone. You know, <laughs> nobody's seeing him. Um, so those are all things that you definitely want to take into consideration. And then kind of channel the character itself, you know, get yeah, in the mindset. Sure. That's all part of it. Yeah, the, the headbands, obviously. The headbands, you know, signifies that you're a hidden leaf village ninja. Of course. It's super important, you know. 
Have keeps that the sweat also out of your eyes, though. Keeps right? the sweat out of your eyes. Keeps the hair out of your face. Factor to it as well. You're you're running at mock speed. You don't want a piece of hair mm-hmm. hitting you in the eye. And beyond just camouflage with the clothing chain, right? We talked about that range of motion. That's why we're getting our hip open. Sure. That's why we're warming up. Um, how do we want to dress as far as being aerodynamic, but, but keeping that sound? Sure. Range of you don't motion. want anything that's super baggy because that's just going to create drag. Yeah. You don't want drag when mm-hmm. you're trying to go mock speeds. It's just going to kind of compound the fact, and you're yeah. knowing nowhere. Right. Um, but you don't want to be so tight that you can't get that leg, you know, you can't get that turnover. Um, so those are the really the kind of the, the limitations on your attire. Now, what's really also important is your shoelaces. Absolutely. And your shoes in general, of course. But the shoelaces, you don't want a shoelace coming untied. That's why we have our Caterpie laces. Absolutely. Um, you're never really going to have to worry about that coming untangled. Or the shoe blowing off your foot. Sure. Yeah, um, all these things. Very At the speed of sound, absolutely. how dangerous could you sure. have a shoelace? Now, in the show... They actually don't wear shoelaces. Very smart. So, you know, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying that. they don't have Caterpies. I bet they ex- wish their shoes sure. were a bit I'm more I'm not saying that we're bit. right, but we're right. I think we're on to something here. And, and Shane, I think we've covered about as much as we need to on the intro side of this to get into the true meat. I agree. To talk about the form. And we have a special guest here who, yeah, I don't want to be a broken record, guys, but we don't condone necessarily we don't. storming Area 51. But someone who we know has been trying to see the Malians for a while, lifelong extraterrestrial enthusiast, our friend Carrie, uh, we're going to try to talk her out of this, but if she goes, just like you folks, your safety is still concerned ours. We want you to have proper form. Uh, and Carrie's going to learn with us today. So, uh, Shane, should we get started? Yeah, absolutely. Let's head on over let's, here. Let's head over here. Um, so, basically, first and foremost, I'm going to kind of do basically adult kind of running form. You okay. don't, All right. This is what you don't want to do. This is what people typically do. Those do. classic mistakes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, normally when I see people go, they're really stiff, their back's really upright. You're not getting anywhere with that. It's just not happening. You're, you're too tall, too much air resistance, too much drag. And so we definitely want to really focus on shrinking your body. You know, getting getting as low down as you can. Yeah, you know, sense. you got to get that bend in. Because if you don't, you're gonna you're not going to be cutting through that, that air yeah. like a butter. Yeah. So, okay. We got the lean down. Absolutely. Definitely want to make sure that you're, you're hinging from the hips. And when you're running, it's actually going to be more from the ankle. Oh, um, okay. Kind of like your best Michael Jackson impression. I see. Um, I see. You're okay. definitely leaning yeah. down like that. Yeah. Um, while, while we're kind of standing, obviously, that's pretty hard to do. You know, you, you're going to fall forward. Sure. Mm. If you don't have that next foot to kind of catch you, mm. of um, course. which is super important, obviously, you know, with regular running, you're, you're, def- you're kind of almost falling from foot to foot. Yeah. You know, you, you want to make sure you're, you're kind of hitting that. Um, now, what's also important is your arms. Yes. Now, well, now there's, there's a very unique... Sure. Uh, you know, when I teach good form running here in the store, um, I suggest something far different with the arms sure. and narrative. And, and, and that's perfect for sub yeah. sub mock speeds. Oh, uh, sure. Okay. You know, you, you, you're, you're okay with that. Right. Um, but right. when you get in there, I see a lot of people that they're, they're forcing their arms back. That's okay. not how this is going. Right. So this is very relaxed. So this is almost you're doing nothing with your arms. Sure. The air is almost pushing your arms back. Uh, I see. And it's keeping them there. So you're kind of like just wobbling, you cool. know? Got like inflatable arm guy. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. inflatable arm dancing man. Inflatable arm Absolutely. Man. <laughs> so you don't want to get so you're not you're not forcing yourself to like wiggle around. That's wrong. You know, oh, a see. lot of people don't get this form right because they're too stiff or they're too loose. So you want to be in that that Goldilocks zone, that sure. sweet spot. Just kind of allow the forces of the earth to move your arms Absolutely. for you. Is yes. that what we're kind of okay. so? So those are the two main parts. Now I'm going to show you how it should look. Okay. And then we'll kind of yeah, let yeah, you guys ask try. Me to get an example. Okay. So you ready? So I'm, get, I'm getting low. Yeah. I'm getting that, keeping that back straight. Absolutely. And you're going. Okay. All right. All right. Now, Shane, obviously, you know, I've seen you do this before. Sometimes when we're out there in parks where, as we said, we totally recommend practicing this in the most public area possible. Sure. Um, but when Shane and I are out there and, and he's doing his runs through the park, he's just a blur. So I yeah. can still make out your, that it was you running. That was mm-hmm. much slower than I usually see you doing this. What sure. percentage of your maximum so, speed would you say that was? You're, you're looking at probably like 0.023 percent. Sure, you know yeah, that sounds right. It, I don't want to brag or anything like that, but you know that's about Certainly. where I would put it. Maybe Certainly. a little bit more, but we're in that area. Okay. Um, and so obviously with that, you're not getting that full range of motion because you're not going full yeah. force. Yeah, of course. Um, so it may look a little bit different, but that's the gist. You know, you kind of focus on that form. You'll feel it. You'll yeah. you'll feel that like oh, yeah. you know, and then. You'll, you'll be able to push that through. Do you, so, do you think we're ready to give it a go? I think that we can give it a shot now. Okay. Now, right. everybody get in that race start pretty, position, pretty good. that foot back. All right, we got those backs straight. Make sure you're not arching anything. All right, now 
Three, two, one, go. Well, you know, what I noticed immediately there, Shane, is that it took every bit of, of resistance. I had to not just blow through the back wall of the stock room. It, it happened. The momentum was picking up so quickly. I've never experienced anything like that before. Sure. And, and you know, both you and Carrie. I think it shows, it's very impressive that you're able to show such restraint the first time out. A lot of people would have been in the rack's clothes. <laughs> it, it, it happens. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, Again, sure. we're gonna public say, park, yeah, park, public, soft, public, soft public, landing, public. People to, to report, you know, any Grass, incidents. Anything that's soft, you want to be, you just don't want to get hurt. I mean, come on, guys. This is a rocket time. So, I, you know, that made me kind of want to open it up a little bit more, doing that test run. Do you, do you think it's safe for... For Carrie and I to, I think to so. go ahead and give this a little test. Run. I think I think as long as you look both ways when you're crossing the street oh, while you're going, I think that that is really the only limiting factor here. Um, I think that we could probably get you um, to let you in back pretty quickly if you think you're up for it. I think I want to give it a go. I think I yeah. feel I, like we I warmed think, up properly. I think that we can do that. And I think it's important for people to see the magnitude of speed we're talking about because, mm-hmm. again, this is all – while we don't condone you going to Area 51 to see the aliens, we do want you – if you're so – choose to do so to be as safe as possible and, and avoid injury as well as bullets. So, mm-hmm. Absolutely. So again, just to reiterate some of the things that we're going to be focusing on for you guys, we're going to get those, the range of motion. I want to see a little bit of, a little bit of stretching beforehand. Right. Yeah, for sure. And make sure you're, you're focusing yeah. on that back. Oof. Got to get nice and low. A lot of, again, biggest mistake is people are upright. Mm-hmm. You don't want that because you're going to go from that mock speed to 20 miles an hour like that, you know, that's that big of a difference. Yeah. Um, and again, those arms. You okay. don't want to get into any of that really quick. So, all right. I think that we're okay. So let's... Um, I think you're going gonna to go out the front door. Okay. Um, and and I, I'm, I'm going to estimate probably about 15 seconds. I think that right. that's what we can get into. That, that feels right. That, from the amount of momentum I felt on the sure. trail. Let's, sure. I guess we got to get in position here. Is that we're going to count it off? All right. Make sure those backs are low. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, three, two, one, go. So while they're off, you know, doing their thing, getting to Lake Eola and stuff like that, um, I want to say that that their their form looked pretty good. There's a little shake in bits, so I think it might take them a, a little bit longer than maybe what I suggested. Um, but that's kind of the gist, guys. What we're here doing is making sure you're going to be safe, making sure you're going to see them aliens. And oh my god, they actually oh. came back a little bit quicker than Ooh. I was anticipating. <laughs> wow, that was fast. It's one of those things that I think that that those first couple steps were a little shaky, but then you got into rhythm. Yeah, and I think you, you really found your stride. Yeah, yeah, you had to find the balance. But once we had enough space, that was important too. Which is again why I think a well, park's a good place to practice it. You got to have almost a mile of open road to and even experience that much. You notice that, yeah. yeah. So oh. so once you really get past that quarter mile yeah. into it a little bit more. You, you can finally find those legs opening up. You know, Absolutely. you really start getting that traction and oh, stuff the, like that. The mills traffic was going in slow motion. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty cool feeling, right? It really yeah. was. And, and guys, we want you to have that feeling if you so happen to not heed our advice in, in Storm Area 51. But we can't thank you enough for joining us. We apologize it took a while to get this out. But this information is so important. Uh, tag some friends. Share this video. It goes beyond the running community. We're here because we're concerned about your safety. And, uh, you know, we hope you heed this advice. And, let as many people as possible know about it. And, and now, uh, one thing I do want to call attention to before we before we exit, um, you notice they sweat a little bit. Now, now they're here in Florida. It's hot. We all know that. It's um, toasty. But you do kind of get a cooling effect from the wind here because sure. it's, it's still not so oppressive that it's just disgusting. The lake breeze was nice. Exactly. Although we did almost create a tsunami. That was very dangerous with um, forces of speed. In the desert, you're going to want to hydrate. That's just super important. I mean, yeah. come on. You know, everybody thinks that they're going to be okay until they're not. Absolutely. So, it's just like our hydration Facebook Live video. Absolutely. Shane, you want to be hydrated the day before. You want to be practicing your form and, and your hydration, everything you need to fuel yourself for this Naruto run sure. days, if not weeks, in advance of this actual I agree. event. I agree. So I think you guys got all the information that you need. Um, you know, just make sure that you're going out there, being safe, practicing in public. Absolutely. You know. And speaking of public, if you do do this in public, film yourself. Absolutely. Tag track shack. Tag track shack, you know. Uh, yeah, and, and let your We friends definitely want to see. And, and if you feel like you need a critique, you know, feel free to send us the video, post it, tag us, and we'll you know, kind of critique that form and, a little and bit. And hit us with questions, too. We know this is a very important subject, so if you guys want to dive a little deeper, Shannon, I'll be happy to dance sure. with some throughout the day. But be safe out there on the roads, guys, and, and be sure to tag your friends and supplies, too. All right. Thanks. Let's see the aliens. Right.